Outlaws Reloaded was made in 2017 by Retrobytes Productions for the Amstrad CPC. It is the only Amstrad exclusive light gun game I am aware of. A keyboard or joystick controlled version of the game, solely called Outlaws, was created in 2016 as entry for the so-called CPC RetroDev 2016 competition and won first place in three categories. The reloaded re-release added support for the MHT Engineerios gunstick light gun controller. In the game's story the player takes the role of Daniel Colt. As a child he was kidnapped by outlaws and was then taught to become a bandit himself. Daniel had a good heart and fought his way out of the gang by killing the leader. An old man helped Daniel to re-socialize. The old man died eventually and Daniel decided to go back to his hometown. He arrived to find the town raided by bandits and decided to free it. Depending on whether the game is played with a controller or a light gun, it behaves very differently. Using the former, the game reminds me a lot of wild guns for the SNES, which would also fit the reloaded nomenclature of an updated re-release. Using the light gun to control the game, much fewer objects are destroyable. Gunstick games typically are difficult to set up. Often either too many false negative or too many false positive hits are detected. Outlaws Reloaded tends to favor false positives more, but all things considered, it's still very playable. The player has four lives, which are tracked with sheriff stars. Health is not refilled at the beginning of a level. The only way to replenish health is to shoot coke cans. This could be a reference to the game Elegipo R, which also used coke cans to restore health. There are no continues and if the player dies, the game ends. Besides coke cans, sometimes money is dropped, which can be shot for extra points. In each level, the player has to kill a defined amount of bandits in order to progress. The game consists of 9 levels. The first level takes place inside the town. Next, the player fights in the desert. The third level is located at the entrance of a cave. Then the player fights at lodges in front of a mine. Level 5 takes the player back to the desert. The 6th level takes the player to the ruins of a fall. Level 7 takes place in front of a large mansion. Level 8 is again a desert. And the last level is another fall. In between levels sometimes bonus rounds take place and in the very beginning is a training level. Personally I like Outlaws Reloaded very much. The graphics are very good and the animations are fluid. I was surprised by the level of gore. The music at the start screen is lovely and shows what the Amstrad CPC is capable of. That the game behaves totally different for the three input methods is a great idea and increases the replay value a lot. When using a light gun the game is almost too easy, but great fun nevertheless. I clearly recommend Outlaws Reloaded to any Amstrad CPC owner. The cover shows David as he shoots a bandit who is spraying his blood all over the place. In the back another bandit is taking aim for David. I think the cover represents the game very well and I like the art style a lot. This is the end of the review. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.